guys, welcome to my 10 subscriber special. I can't believe it. In only a few weeks after starting this channel, we finally got 10 subscribers. Okay, so we're going to start from this side and then move on and then we're going to go to that beast, which is my pretty okayly organized storage thing. Okay, starting over here with these figures out right here. This is the Brute Weapons Customizer Pack and I got it and I haven't been able to put the figures away in the beast box, is what I'm calling it. And yeah, I really like that set. Now we're moving on to the Skiff Intercept, which is personally uh, my favorite Covenant set of the Halo Infinite things. It's just so cool. And we've never seen anything like this except for with the Brute Prowler. But that this one's just different because you have this like area where you can fit all the troops. And you can put the drive you can put a driver there and a gunsman there. Then we move on to the Banshee Breakout, which is also a great set. It's a fun little build, not too big, but only a few hundred pieces. But it's still awesome. Now we're moving on to Forerunner, which the Forerunner installation is the only one I have of the Forerunner ones. I'm looking to get some more ones for, like Promethean. And yeah, this one's really cool. I just got it the other day. And it was a really awesome build. I can't wait to get more so I can, I connect it and make a, a better, a bigger Halo ring. Now, moving on to the human side, we have the War, Warthog Rally, which is, again, an amazing set. And it's really awesome. Now, moving on to the, the uh, Recon Getaway, which is still a pretty awesome set. But it's just really small, and I don't really think it was worth $15. Now, these are three characters right here that I got recently, too. And I have a bit, I have, didn't uh, put them away. And yeah. And also, they're really awesome. I also love this Master Chief right here. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's frost on him. Probably from right, right after he gets in the Kyra, out of the Kyra chamber. And now the signature series build, the Pelican, which the Pelican takes forever to build, but it's such a fun build, and it's just awesome to play with, and it it's just super awesome, and the figures that came with it are really awesome too. Okay, now we got away from all the vehicles, let's look to the micro builds. So first up we have um, the... Uh, Halo Infinite blind bag micro build, the Pelican, which is pretty <laughs> flippin' awesome. And this was actually my first micro build. And then the Clash of the Ring blind bag micro build, it's the Truth and Reconciliation from the third level in Halo CE. And yeah, that's just really awesome. Now, moving on to over here, we got some base plates. This is a um, Lego base plate that I just used for Mega Constructs because it's pretty useful. And if you guys have seen my other videos, like my stop motions, then you know what this is. This is the base plate that I um, make my stop motions on. It's just really good, and I love how it's, like, leveled, and it's all like that. And now, coming over to this, we're going to start from the bottom and move to the top. Okay. So, in this box, um, we have a bunch of figures, which they, these are the figures that come with the Skiff Intercept and the Banshee Breakout. So you got the um, an Elite Ultra right there for the Banshee Breakout, two Brutes, uh, and a Grunt, which I'm trying to army build those Grunts, which I really need more. And then the Brute from the Anniversary Blind Bags, which is pretty awesome. I like his gold plasma rifle right there. It's squishy. And moving on to the next one. We got another Elite Ultra from Halo Heroes. We got a an Elite from the Halo Infinite blind bags, uh, an Elite from the uh, Anniversary, and two uh, Jackals. It's pretty cool. Then we have the Hunter, uh, the Arbiter in Halo War in Halo Wars. Um, from that one is from the Warthog Rally. And the elite right there, and that grunt is from the Warthog Rally as well. Not War Warthog Rally, um, the Recon Getaway. Sorry about that. And um, that's the 
pretty awesome uh, hunter from the uh, Pelican build, which is awesome. And then getting on to the um, human side, we have all of these are from the Clash on the Ring blind bag. You have a green Spartan right there with a the rocket launcher, um, a yellow Spartan right there with a uh, pistol, well, a magnum, and uh, that's uh, a custom assault rifle on the Marine right there made by my, my good friend Elliot, and he has a channel, Elliot Babcock, which is pretty awesome. And he also has a pistol, and yeah. Moving on to the next one. I'll try to speed this up. This is taking forever. So we have the chief from the Pelican, the pilot from the Pelican, and then this guy is from the skiff intercept. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now here, we, all these are from the anniversary blind bags, and I like the Helio Skrill best personally because Helio Skrill armor is the best. And yeah, got a red one there and then a white one there, which looks like an Oreo <coughs> blizzard to me. And then right here, we've got a custom that I made, um, which is with a um, Spartan laser. And he doesn't have an arm right there because an elite chopped it off. And then you have some Spartans. Two of them are from the uh, Spartan customizer pack. And yeah, the, uh, this one, this is getting really hard to reach over the table. Another um, Spartan, green one. That one's from the, um, whatchamacallit, Banshee Breakout. That one, uh, my friend Elliot gave me. And uh, yeah, we'll get over to this one. Okay, now let's get to this one, I think it is. Yeah. We have the Master Chief from the Warthog Rally. Um, the Mark 7 Spartan from the Halo uh, Heroes line. And then a Spartan Centurion from a different Halo Heroes. And then we have a bunch of Marines from, uh, yeah. Oh yeah, here's an old Marine, an, M an MPD Marine. I like him. He's pretty cool. Uh, when my, my uncle actually gave this to me and he used to collect Mega Blocks when it was still called Mega Blocks. And this dude came with a shotgun, a pistol, but I took that pistol and put it on another figure. And a, um, a what's it called? Uh, no, uh, oh yeah, hey, uh, Survivor Magnum, I think. And here's just a bunch of random f figures. Two random shotguns uh, and a katana and a bunch of figures I found in my old Legos collection. And he died, obviously. Now here, here's all my uh, mech suits, which are pretty awesome. The backs keep falling off, so I just leave them like that. Which I, I have two of the three, and I really, really want the third one. So, yeah, I'm moving on to the next one. And this one has a... Uh, uh, Brute Chieftain from Mega Bloks and is the old design. And I am trading this with my friend. Um, and here are some blocks that I found in my Lego collection, but I still have to look a lot more because there's a ton more. And here are some base plates that I got. Even more base plates. Uh, even more base plates. <laughs> some random pieces that I just found and stored in the bucket in a bucket because I thought they I could use them for like a, a mock or something uh, here's some connector pieces that I have because wait what is that doing there it's not supposed to be there it can say now here's just a bunch of oh, here's all the spare pieces from all the builds I've got I know it's not that much for all the sets I have. And here is a bag of just decoration blocks. We've got a treasure chest, some chains, some fire. Pretty cool. And then that one's empty for later. Same with that one. And the final one has these storage crates for the um, uh, Spartan Customizer Pack. Yeah. And yeah, guys, that, that'll be it for the um, video so like subscribe and check out other videos <laughs>